I said like, Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Morning Prayer, Thursday, May 28th. This will be the third time I've tried to do uh, Morning Prayer this morning. Seem to be having all kinds of crazy technical difficulties. So hopefully this time is going to work and you can hear me. I'm actually taking a second to make sure that the uh, volume is coming through. And so um, I see a couple of you on. Let me know if you can still definitely hear me or not. Um, and I will continue. Otherwise, I may cut this off as well. So um, I just got a thumbs up. So I think I've got volume. Perfect. Thank you, Miss Carolyn, for letting me know. You can hear me this morning. Not really sure what was going on other than, like I say, this is the third time I've tried to do this. So apparently God does not want to, I mean, uh, the devil does not, God does not, the devil does not want me to put this message out this morning because um, this is the most technical difficulties I've had in all the 65 days we've been doing this. But anyway, um, let me jump in and say this. Interesting, um, interesting because I'm going to talk about a little bit about spiritual battle this morning. So uh, this is almost humorous in the whole process. But um, uh, yesterday for me was kind of um, counseling day. Didn't plan for it to go that way. Didn't plan for it to be that way. Uh, but I mean, it started before I left the house. I'm on the phone uh, counseling with a guy, had a meeting at nine to counsel with someone and ended the day last night counseling with a young man um, and in between. So um, amazing how yesterday I had told you guys, like, expect the struggles, expect the trials and stuff today. And then I and then God put me in the situation yesterday where I saw all these different struggles. And I mean, everything yesterday from. Uh, ad adultery and, and marriage issues, uh, to other sexual issues, to um, authority issues. Some of you have adult children and knowing where your boundaries are with your adult children. Um, I mean, it was, it was the whole spectrum yesterday. And so as I was kind of thinking through that whole thing, in the midst of that, I am preparing for a new series that we'll be doing, not this Sunday, but the next Sunday, so June 7th. We're going to start a new series called Culture Shapers, and we're going to study the book of Daniel. And so I was thinking about like the reality that either, and and, and, and there's there's no gray area here. It's, it's one or the other. And that is either we're shaping the culture around us or the culture around us is shaping us. And sometimes a little bit of both, depending on how you look at that whole scenario. But the fact that we are called like as, as, ambassadors of Christ, as those who have received the power of the Holy Spirit in our lives, we are to be the ones that are not to be a thermometer. We're not supposed to be reflecting the temperature around us. We're, those, we're supposed to be a thermostat. We're supposed to set the temperature. So we are designed to be culture shapers, um, and yet we are so often inundated with so many things. And, and, and so I was having one of the conversations I had with a young man yesterday was just Ultimately, what we came to was the reality that the culture around him and the people around him are speaking so many things that are watering down what God says, which brings doubt, which makes you think, uh, maybe that's not what the Bible says exactly. And all. And so I want to I want to read one verse out of Daniel as I've been, like I said, I've been preparing for this um, this series and I want us to use this to pray for ourselves and others today. It says this, Daniel 1.8 says, But Daniel resolved, and that's kind of the key word for today, I think. Daniel resolved that he would not defile himself with the king's food or with the wine that they drank. So without getting into the whole story, uh, they wanted them to eat and drink these things that were not within what was appropriate for Daniel. And he was in a pagan culture. He was up in, he had kind of had some influence and been raised up in their government and, and, and had some influence. And so to take a stand at that point was a big, big deal. And that's the struggle for most of us is, is the taking a stand in the culture around us. I mean, so let's talk Lake County. Let's, let's talk our particular area. If you're watching from somewhere else, it's probably a little different where you are, you know, but in, in Lake County, there are certain things that if you went to take a stand biblically, 
uh, that it would be really opposite of the culture around you, you know? And, and so I want to encourage us and, and kind of push us a little bit today to what does it mean for you to have some resolve in some certain areas of your life? And I, and I thought about what did Daniel do? What, what was he, what was he doing? I mean, what are some very practical, real stuff right here, Thursday, the 28th that, that we actually need to consider uh, putting into this day and that we can pray, God help me to do these things today. Um, we'll worry about tomorrow. Jesus said tomorrow's got enough worry about itself. Today, today, what, what can we do today? So three, three thoughts that I had that, that have to do with Daniel and his resolve. Uh, one is he chose what he listened to. He chose what he listened to. And so I, I want to ask you, uh, when you go get in the car to go to work today, what are you going to listen to? Uh, when you're getting ready this morning and preparing for your day, what are you listening to? Um, when you get to work and you're interacting with people, who are you listening to? And um, it makes a huge difference. I mean, I saw it in this one young man's life yesterday that I said that the people around him um, have slowly, slowly sort of eroded away at what God's word says and made him doubt that scenario. So who and what are you listening to is so, so critical and so important. And so I want us to pray. I need to resolve. Um, I, I'm going to resolve to be very intentional about the things that I'm listening to and what I'm listening to. And that has to do with, I mean, gosh, in this day and age of with the politics, I mean, listen to me, if you're a hardcore conservative and you're listening to Fox all the time and you're every night talking, you know, listen to the talking heads and it gets you all fired up about blah, 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 blah. Um, is that healthy? Is, is that, is that puts you in a healthy place to be able to love someone who might be on the other side of the aisle? And if you're a Democrat and you're listening to CNN and, and the whole time it's, you know, everything that's wrong with Trump and this and that and that. Is that, is that healthy? Is that putting you in a place where you're ready to bring unity, which we've talked about over the last couple of days, um, kindness, love, gen I mean, these are the fruits of the Spirit. So what are we listening to? Second thing to kind of pray about today is, and this one may sound like it comes out of left field, but Daniel chose to forgive. And I want to remind you that Daniel was in a pagan culture. Not only was he in a pagan culture, he was in a culture that had come and beat up his culture and drug them off to that culture. So it's not like, um, you know, he chose to move to this foreign land. And do, no, these were people that came and conquered them, burned down their homes, then drug them off. And now their people are there in exile. And yet Daniel is serving those people and even serving that culture to an extent. There's a certain amount of forgiveness, um, as a matter of fact, a huge amount of forgiveness that would have been required for Daniel to do that scenario. And so are we walking in forgiveness? I'm not saying are we feeling it. I'm saying are we choosing it? Remember, we're talking about resolve today. We're not talking about feelings. Uh, I resolve to walk in forgiveness to get today, to let go of this particular grudge to let go of my feelings towards that person that works next to me today and to choose to walk in that forgiveness. So he was, he was careful about what he chose to listen to. He chose to forgive. And the last one is he chose to pray. Daniel, in a pagan culture where they actually tried to outlaw him being able to do it, he still chose three times a day, three times a day, to take time to talk to God. And so I want to challenge you this morning and, and challenge us with that thought of um, let's pray for some resolve today. Uh, not, not tomorrow, not yesterday. We're not looking forward or backwards. We're just dealing with today. Today, I resolve uh, to do things just a little bit differently. I resolve to be very intentional about what I'm listening to. I resolve today to forgive. Today, just this one day. I'm going to walk in forgiveness. I'm, I'm going to choose those around me. My spouse that I just had a fight with and I'm angry with. The kids that are driving me crazy right now. Work. 
uh, whatever it is, extended family that, that we're not talking right now. I'm going to choose today. I'm going to resolve to walk in that forgiveness. And then today I'm going to choose. And you're, you're doing this right now, this morning or this afternoon. And so you've chosen this one moment. But what other times today can you take, stop and pray and talk to God? Say, God, make my mind right. Uh, remind me what I should be listening to. Help me again, Holy Spirit, to walk in forgiveness and, and, and guide me into divine moments that you've designed that I might fulfill something very purposeful in May 28th, 2020. So I want to pray for you today for resolve. I want to pray for you today uh, that we'll just take this one day. And um, I'd love, love, love to hear back from some of you. If, 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 if you make some resolution today and you see something happen today, man, send me, a, send me an email, send me a text message. Let me know, um, you know what? I, I walked differently today and I saw God bless and do that, um, do something uh, supernatural uh, in my life. And so uh, let me pray for you and, um, and let's make a resolve this morning. Let's just, um, man, I just feel a, a little kind of brave heart rising up in me this morning. Um, as it was a fight to even get on this morning. Um, and, and there's just something that, uh, something God wants to do. Um, if you'll make a, a resolve uh, to stay focused today and what you're listening to, walking in forgiveness and spending time with him. Father, thank you for, um, thank you for the struggle this morning. I, I see the, the battle even in the, the simple this morning. Father, I pray for anybody listening that they would resolve today to be who you've called them to be by choosing what they listen to, the voices that are speaking into their head, the, the uh, ideas and worldviews that are trying to invade their life, that we would protect that and we would come back to your word, renewing our mind with your truth. God, we would resolve today to choose forgiveness. We don't feel it, we choose it. I walk in forgiveness, I forgive that person, I hold no grudge today. I choose to let go of pain and struggle and anything that they may have caused in my life. I choose that today. And then God, today I'm going to choose at different times to stop and have prayer to talk with you. And, and so God, would you empower me through your Holy Spirit to fulfill this resolve just for today, May 28th, 2020. And we're going to expect to see you move in our life today simply because of the resolve that we're making this morning and in this time. And so God, I pray you bless each person, each household, um, give them strength today to fulfill what you have called them to do, um, to walk in your ways, to understand the guiding of your Holy Spirit, to hear your voice. We pray it all in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. So Let's go be who God's called us to be, Brent. Walk in that resolve today. Walk in forgiveness. It's going to come back. That frustration, that anger is going to come back. Make the choice uh, to walk in it anyway. Love each one of you guys. Have a great day.